Hey my pretties, welcome back to my channel. So, like I talked about in two other videos, we are here to open up this 90s time capsule box. It says do not open until 2019, so it's safe to say it's time. <laughs> um, I found this in Target. Apparently it's been around for a little hot minute. I don't know how I missed it because I would have definitely purchased one of these to open it to see. I am, I am a nostalgic junkie. I love stuff from like the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Like I just love stuff that reminds me of the past, whether I was born in that year or not. Like I wasn't born in the 60s, but I like to see stuff because I have two older sisters that was born in the 60s. And um, I like to see like the toys that they used to play with. Just It's just, it's kind of weird, but I really like old fashioned stuff or stuff that reminds me of the past. So anyways, I want to get this open because, you know, I had a good time in the 90s and I do remember a lot of stuff from the 90s. So I'm excited to see what's in here because I remember pretty much everything that happened in the 90s. So let's get this open. I'm not going to keep running my mouth. I haven't opened it yet. I have my scissors right here. I'm going to peel this tape off and we're going to see what's in this box. It says loaded up with 10 big surprises straight from the 90s. Hopefully it's, um, it says all of that and a bag of chips. <laughs> Hopefully it's, uh, I get my money's worth cause this box was, how much was this? $24.99. So $25. Okay. So when I opened it up, the first thing I see is this up here and it says be, be kind, rewind. And that of course is making me think of Blockbuster. That was the time when you could take your Blockbuster card, go rent you some VHSs and go home. It was no Netflix and chill. You had to go get you a VHS and uh, go sit at home and watch it. Make sure you rewind it before you took it back or they was going to charge you for that. Okay, so let me take that off. Okay, so that was stuck on there. What is it though? New release one night rental. So I think it's just like a sticker and it looks like that like a It doesn't really do anything, but it's kind of It's that texture. So it just looks like a Cassette tape or VHS tape that you would have got from Blockbuster. I think this is kind of cute new release one night rental. Oh, yeah, huh? When it was a new release, you can only rent it for that one night <laughs> God forbid that you forget the next day and take it back the next day. Uh, so yeah. Okay. Now before I get started, one of my sons was supposed to be in here with me to look at this box, uh, because he was born in the nineties. Uh, but I don't know where he's at. So, okay. So then I see this letter. Let's take it off. Something fell out. I think it was a piece of paper. So then I see this letter right here and it says, sup, <laughs> not sup. <laughs> oh, and it's dated 6-15-1999. Sup, how's it hanging future person? That is so cute. Look at that. Uh, if you found this note, it looks like you stumbled on your, on our stash. This stockpile of totally dope gear is our time capsule straight from the nineties. It is not to be opened for 20 years years our goal is to share all our essential 90s swag was the word swag out in the 90s no i don't think so okay so the 90s swag with you future person so if the time is right dive in because this stuff is da bomb <laughs> <laughs> they put D-A bomb, da bomb. And remember what they say, it's all that and a bag of chips. Okay, okay. They trying to have the little wording they should have said, but anyways. And then you spell that, but the letter N, a E, and ways. Tell me if you remember that, but anyways. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I see is this whole top part. Oh, that's cute. It says so fresh. That looks like Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Um, and there's little compartments that you open up and that's where you'll find stuff at. So let's see. Oh, I remember that S right there. Can you see that? You know, the one that you make with the, the six lines and you make it, you know, I remember when I first learned to write that, make that S. Uh, the little diamond, some little scribble stuff on there. There's some little fake tattoos. And look at down here. 
uh, a Hudiac. Oh my gosh, a VHS tape right here. It says, oh snap. And then when you used to write, <laughs> when you would write on it right there, and like say you record a movie on it and then you want to re-record a different movie, you scribble it out and put the new movie on there. That's what they did right there. Uh, yeah, so let's get this open. I'm going to open each compartment and see what is behind it. And I'll let you guys know if this was worth $25. Okay, so the first side that I just opened, it says, I love the 90s, five cards, five trading cards, right here, totally hella sweet. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think, as I'm opening this, I'm trying to think, did we say the, did we say hella in the 90s? Ooh, that's hella. I don't think so. Tell me if I'm wrong, because I don't remember using that word. Okay, so I love the 90s. Okay, so they just put these little cards. The sound of pulling the ball off a paddle is just so sweet. Enjoy it while it lasts, because after three catches, the ball is ruined. That is true, because the ball wouldn't stick anymore on that. I remember that. The only way to fix it, oh my gosh, when your cassette tape we get jacked up inside of the tape recorder and you had to take your pencil and roll it through the middle to try to get the, the tape back inside. <laughs> That's what that is. It says, although it may be tempting, destroying your fingertip as a desperate alternative isn't worth it. Find a pencil. Yeah, because you know how you would try to go like that and uh, that didn't work too long. Oh my goodness. I made these almost every day in school predict the future remember those and you hold them in your hand like this and you open them <laughs> with the colors and the numbers it says explore the complexities of your future with exciting and profound predictions such as ask again later and you smell i don't think we put you smell in ours but okay this oh those little pictures that say when you see it so it's a picture hidden in there but it says when you see it Oh, okay, it says no. Okay, chill out. If we tell you what it is, you'll stop making that face. It's two squirrels. So that's what that says. And the last one is <laughs> the FBI warning. Didn't I used to come on with the VHS tapes? Look at that. It says, don't go, don't go fast forwarding through this one or you will have the FBI knocking on your door. Let's stop the piracy here. And now in the 90s before it gets out of control, tracking. <laughs> Okay, so I remember I remember all of that. That was a, a good that was good. That was a good memory. Okay, let's open the next one. Uh, here is some fake tattoos. Right there. I remember kids wearing the tattoos. I never got into the tattoos or putting these on my arms and stuff like that. I wasn't a big fan of that, but I do remember it. And then look at these stickers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at the stickers. Now the what I said oh my goodness to was this right here. That giant block telephone right there. One of my older sisters had one of them phones and let me tell okay, she had see I'm gonna take you guys back. She had that phone, that big giant concrete brick phone, and she used to have the Kenwood, tell me if you remember that, the Kenwood pullout for the car so whenever and she used to let me drive now don't tell nobody but i've been driving since i was 14. yes since i was 14. so when i was i know i know but times was different back then it wasn't like how it is now um so when i was 14 like if she let me go to the store or something like that you couldn't tell me nothing <laughs> I would have her phone. I'd be having the phone and then the Kenwood pull out. I'd take the pull out out the uh, car and while I'm walking through the store or whatever, I'd be holding the Kenwood. Oh my goodness. You couldn't tell me nothing about nothing. So I'm loving the memory of this phone right here. There's that letter S. You got the rad, the alien, Bayside class of 94. <laughs> Yo class right there the bomb oh snap and when they used to do their fingers like that right there is that showing up when they used to be like what was it like like that or loser when they started doing that so that was in that one okay so that's two areas let's get down to this vhs um 
whatever was in this VHS spot right here, down here is missing. Hopefully it slid through and it's in this box somewhere because that won't be cool. So hopefully I find that. I'm not sure what it was. Okay, so in this next compartment. Oh, okay, I think this is it. This I think this was in that VHS spot. So it's a slap bracelet right here. And I do remember these two, but I didn't really get into the the little slap bracelet where you just go like that. And the kids have brought these back out. Um, Pooh Bear loves these things. And it's crazy how things go in a full circle. So, yeah, these are back. So, I think that was in the area where the VHS tape was. Um, a cup. Here's this cup right here. This is in here. And it is a ceramic cup. Not sure of the purpose of this. I'm thinking this looks like this pattern reminds me of something like the doctor's office or somewhere the dentist or somewhere used to have this pattern where you would just drink the water and spit it out. I'm, I want to say it's the doctor's or the dentist. I don't know, but this little cup is in here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, up in this top one, the biggest container or biggest pouch, a mini <laughs> fanny pack. <laughs> How funny is that? Okay, so you got the fanny pack right here. And like I said, yes, these were definitely out in the 90s. I used to never wear fanny packs. I still have not wore a fanny pack to this day. I have one that was sent to me and I haven't worn it. I uh, just wasn't a big fan of the fanny packs on my hip. I don't know. I don't know. But this is definitely from the 90s. And I like how they added the like neon colors and the color blocking and everything. Uh, so that's in there. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five areas. Let's do this one. Some gel pins right here. The fluorescent kind of gel pins. Definitely, definitely. Anything in the, um, well, I want to say that was really the 80s. I was going to say anything that was fluorescent. But to me, what I remember was the fluorescent came onto the scene. The fluorescent colors really popped on the scene in the 80s. And the reason I say that is because my one of my older sisters was part of a, you know, back then it was more about dancing. It wasn't like, it, was, it wasn't really like gangs and stuff. People was like dancers. So back when I, re when I was little, what I remember was she was part of this dance crew. Um, and they used to call themselves the Midnight Lovers. And... You know, I even used to break dance. Yes, I used to break dance. I probably got pictures somewhere. My mom used to take pictures um, of me on cardboard boxes, break dancing in my little fake pleather pants. Oh my goodness, but I've always been a dancer, so believe it or not. Uh, so yeah, I used to break dance, and my sister, she was part of this little, like, you know, crew that used to dance and they called themselves Midnight Lovers. Well, what I was saying, what I was getting to was that their sweatshirts that they used to go and have either airbrushed with their names or the little iron on velvet letters, their shirts were fluorescent yellow or fluorescent pink. So that's how I know the fluorescent colors popped on the scene in the 80s, but they became bigger in the 90s. So that's why I see them putting them pins in there. I'm telling too many stories. Okay. Two more areas. This one is just a little notepad. A little notepad like that. With that on there. Instant pad. And it's like... Oh, it's like the first computer screen. Like how the screen used to look when you needed to write a letter. Or, you know, something like that. Oh my goodness. What they should have put in here was... um. What was it called? Oregon Trail. That was the first computer game I remember ever playing when I was in the sixth grade. My math teacher presented this giant, now looking back, this giant computer screen. Um, the old, old, old computers. You guys remember those, the big square blocks and the screen was green. Um, and that was what I remember. My very first computer game was Oregon Trail. I love that game. Um, so yeah, so this is in here, just a little notepad that looked like a computer screen. And the last area is, 
these cards. So these are just basically playing cards that have probably that little picture on it and they say solitaire on them. I actually never learned how to play solitaire. I don't know how to play spades. I know, I know, horrible, right? My mom plays spades, my, my sisters, I think both my sisters play spades. I never learned how to play spades. Now I could do, I declare war, I could play fish, I could do those games, but I never wanted to learn how to play solitaire or spades. Now I will beat you in some dominoes though. Now that's my game, that and Monopoly. <laughs> so these were some cards. Now that is it for everything in here, okay. What I'm gonna say is, ooh, what I'm gonna say my true feeling on this box is, it was actually fun to kind of, you know, go down memory lane and to kind of remember some of this stuff. So I think what you're paying for really is the packaging. I think you're just paying for the packaging because everything in here, besides this ceramic cup that probably costs a little bit like two three dollars or something like that everything else in here was like dollar items and so the box was the box my phone is ringing hold on okay i lost my train of thought because my phone rang but um i think what i was saying was i think you're you're pretty much paying for the packaging it was fun to go down memory lane to see some of this stuff but i don't think it's worth 25 dollars. i really really don't um but yeah to make the box the packaging all of this extra stuff i think is really really cute um i think you know if you gave this to somebody as a gift i think they would enjoy it but me i wish oh i wish i i wish i could create this box i put some stuff in here to make you really really go down memory lane but i i like it i like it I don't think it was just worth the $25, but I really do like it. So, I mean, it made me smile. It made me think about the past and I have some stories to tell you guys. So that's all it is with this box. And that is everything that you get in here. Um, I'll probably, I did Google, I went online and I Googled a uh, 70s nostalgic candy box. That would be cool to kind of get one of those too, to see what they think was the candies from the 70s. Um, I did see one of them. It was like a Chico stick. I agree with that. But, um, yeah, so I don't know if I could find another one of these boxes, like the eighties, seventies or something like that. I'll definitely try it out and open it and see what's in there. But, um, yeah, so that's it. You guys, I just wanted to share this with you since I picked it up yesterday, I was excited to open it and, uh, tell me what you guys think about it. Do you, did it, do you think it was worth the 25? Um, did you enjoy seeing what was in here? And then let me know what name two items that you really remember from the 90s. What just makes you think of the 90s? Um, and let let me know down in the comment section below. That should be really fun to read. So I'll talk to you guys real soon in my next video. Bye.